And you mentioned this facility. Yes, it is called the Monroe County Correctional Facility, where Brian Koberger is an inmate right now awaiting extradition to Idaho on four first degree murder charges. And when he was taken down in Albrightsville, about 15 miles from here, well, here's reaction from witnesses. My reaction is shock. My reaction is. Uh fear and my reaction is what are the odds it's completely quiet and it's uh it's beautiful but it's very secluded that's ryan gorman who rents a vacation home around the corner from this one it's where suspect brian koberger is listed as living and where on friday it was a busy crime scene this morning when i went out for uh just for a little walk i noticed that there were helicopters everywhere flying around it happened here in the gated community of Indian Mountain Lake, 2,500 miles from Moscow, Idaho. It was there on November 13th that four people in their early 20s, Kaylee Gonsalves, Madison Mogan, Zana Kernodal, and Ethan Chapin, were all fatally stabbed in the home that the young women were renting. Chapin was staying the night with Kernodal, his girlfriend. The four were students at the University of Idaho. It's in Moscow, Idaho, on the border of Washington state. Investigators say that it was apparently from Pullman, Washington, six miles away, that Brian Koberger went to Moscow, Idaho, and fatally stabbed the four victims. Koberger is 28 and was a grad student in criminology at Washington State University in Pullman. We are still looking for um, all pieces of evidence, um, but we are still looking for the, the weapon. Um, and I will say that uh, we have found an Elatra. The police chief in Moscow, Idaho, spoke at a Friday afternoon news conference about a white Hyundai Elantra that investigators had been searching for in the case. The prosecutor added this. This is not the end of this investigation. In fact, this is a new beginning. You all now know the name of the person who has been charged with these offenses. Please get that information out there. Please ask the public, anyone who knows about this individual, to come forward. And investigators say they have gotten 19,000 tips in this case so far, and clearly they are still looking for more in this open case. Will there be additional arrests? They will not say, but again, say that the case is open and Brian Koberger is set to go before a judge again here on Tuesday.